so. Ooh, that's sunny. I need sunglasses, wait. Ah, much better. So, since today is such a beautiful day and I finally kinda finished my outside kitchen, uh, it still needs some finishing touches here and there. But anyway, I was thinking today we should grill. I'm really in the mood for a grill. Uh, but not just any grill. Today we're gonna take a look at four of the most unexpected and weird things people put on grills. I found on the website brit.com, I found 12 unexpected foods that people put on grill. Uh, I selected four of them, the links are gonna be down in the description below, and hopefully the traffic is not as loud as I think it is, because it's annoying. Let's get into it. I'm just gonna fire up the grill, and we're gonna start. grill is burning, we should take ourselves a beer and enjoy the weather. Okay, now that we're waiting for the grill to heat up, we can actually start on the first recipe, which requires to sit for about 15 minutes, so we should start with that. We are going to need a cucumber, believe it or not. Uh, this is grilled cucumber with feta dip sauce. I never thought that you can actually cook cucumber. I honestly never thought that. I'm gonna cut it in half, though. So, cut it. That's how it is in picture. So, it's cut into four. Okay, to this, we're gonna need some red wine vinegar, which I have here. Some oil, olive oil. which I have also here. Okay, we're gonna add some salt. Come on. Okay. And garlic. Anything that has garlic in it, to be honest, sounds really good to me. Okay, so we're gonna give this a toss once in a while and we're gonna leave them in the shade here to marinate for 15-20 minutes. Next up we have cinnamon orange vanilla grilled french toast and I'm pretty sure they don't mean on the actual coal grill I think they mean on a grill skillet but hey why not I have a grill it's called grill, why not? Let's try it. I don't have orange and I forgot to get cinnamon. So it's just gonna be French toast. For this, we're gonna need a bowl, of course, milk, eggs, just a easy, simple. Uh, uh, of course I did this. The simple way of making French toast. Okay. To the eggs, we add some milk. A pinch of salt. A bit of sugar. I like my French toast sweet, so... Kind of like a tablespoon of sugar. And we shouldn't forget a bit of oil. I don't have butter. 
and because it's on the grill I am gonna put the oil in the uh, mixture instead of oil in the pan because I can't really oil the grill now we're gonna take care of our French toast which is just a matter of dunking the bread in the batter and let's see if it goes well I have absolutely no idea how long I should leave them for because the grill is quite hot wait, wait. Ooh, look at this nice and golden Ooh. Ooh, why the hell did I never think thought about doing this on a grill? This looks awesome. Let's take a look. Ooh, this is done. Oh, this is done for sure. Okay, they are done and they look amazing. Wow, this looks amazing. I can't wait to taste this. Okay, now... Now this looks like something really fancy. And... I'm not the biggest fan of French toast, but this... This... Makes my water... My, my water mouth. <laughs> this makes my mo mouth water. So, let's see. Mm. 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 <clears throat> Again, not the biggest fan of French toast. But this is something that I would want to have daily. This is really good. Impressively good. Hmm. I am going to try the orange vanilla. Orange cinnamon vanilla or however it's called. One. Definitely. Because that sounds way better than this one. So. The cucumber has marinated. So let's put one. Here. And see how it goes. It smells really good, to be honest. But vinegar and cucumber, it's one of my favorite salads. This should stay here for about 10 minutes. That's what it says. Flipping them halfway through. So let's see where we're getting with this one. Patience is key. Patience is key okay let's try to turn the bad boys let's try to turn them around i see a bit of golden here and there Ooh. they actually smell really good okay let's take them off I'm really curious about them. Okay, let's try the cucumber. I'm quite nervous about this, to be honest, because I never thought to warm up cucumber. I hate warm cucumber in sandwiches usually. But let's give it a try. This is awesome. This is really good. Hmm. I would leave it to marinate overnight, maybe. Just to really get sour from the vinegar. But... This is impressively good. Now, this is something that I, again, would never think to heat up. It never crossed my mind that this can actually be 
warmed up. Avocado. Grilled avocado. Now, I've grilled pineapple before and it's really good. I grilled watermelon before. It's bad. But grilled avocado? This is a fruit that I would never thought, I would never think to heat up. So let's give it a try. So, we just gonna split the avocado in two and apparently we just put it on the grill. I have absolutely no idea how long I should grill them for and I'm pretty sure I was supposed to put some salt on them before. Wait a bit. Well, I just checked the notes and yes, I was supposed to put salt on it before. Uh, hopefully it's not too late. Salt and pepper I should put on it. There goes the salt. There goes the pepper. Uh, back on the grill. Let's see how our avocados are doing. I would say good. I'm gonna leave them for a bit on the other side too. Just to warm it up all the way through. So I feel like the avocado is done. I mean, it's sizzling, so it should be done. And... It actually looks appealing. Okay, now, to be honest, I have no idea how to eat this. Uh, let's just try a piece like this. I'm not really that confident in this, to be honest. It feels really creamy though. Mm. Not the biggest fan. No. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the biggest fan. It has some sort of flavor that I don't like. It tastes really oily. This one is not for me. You just have to try it out. On to the next one. So, another thing that sounds really good and I think I think I had it before but I'm talking about lemons that's right we're gonna make a grilled lemonade grilled lemonade sounds really good to me because when you heat up a lemon the sugars will start to caramelize and it's gonna be sweeter and I feel like that smokiness from the grill is gonna pump up a really good flavor so i'm excited about this let's try it out to be honest for the lemonade i'm just gonna cut them in half and i'm just gonna sprinkle them with a bit of sugar to further caramelize and keep the juices inside i mean when you're making a grill, you need something to drink at that grill too, so... I'm really confident that this is gonna be amazing. I think I'm gonna grill them for about 10 minutes. So, let's see our lemon. It's slowly... Slowly getting darker. I think about 15 minutes. It's a good time. Okay, let's see. So our lemon seems nice and caramelized. I'm just gonna heat up the zest, the skin to a bit. But it's pretty much done. Looks really good. Okay. So our lemon is done. Now, 
I'm just gonna leave these to cool off so that I can squeeze them out and make the lemonade. So these have cooled down enough for me to touch them. We're gonna need icy water. We're also gonna need a teaspoon. And we're gonna need, of course, sugar. So let's start squeezing now. Now I realized I should have brought a lemon squeezer thingy, a juicer. Because all of the seeds are gonna be in the lemonade. Yeah, sometimes I'm not the smartest. Now I'm gonna cut the slices in half and just toss them in there. Give this a stir. It actually has a really nice color. It's a dark color. Let's start with two teaspoons and see where we're going. Two teaspoons of sugar. For this occasion, I'm gonna get the fancy glasses that I bought for this place because we're fancy. Now let's taste. Mm, it smells really good. Mmm, that's awesome. But it definitely needs more sugar. I'm gonna go with another one, another three teaspoons. Let's give it another try. Let's see where we're at. Now this is the shit. Wow, this is amazing. Wow, this is amazing. I would honestly have this instead of a uh, beer at grill. That's how nice it is. I didn't expect it to be this sunny. So next time definitely I'm gonna get some sunscreen on myself. Uh, but this was a nice experiment. To be honest, my top favorite right now is lemonade. Lemonade is amazing. A second, close second comes a cucumber, followed by the French toast, which was impressive, to be honest. And of course, last would be the avocado, which, mm. but anyway, that is gonna be the end, for, uh, the end of the video for today. I'm gonna have a lot more videos here. I like it. This was really relaxing and I really enjoy being here. So more videos here are gonna come up. Uh, hope you enjoy. Check out my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and see you next time. Bye.